another day of Vlogmas 2018. Today we are talking the best gifts you should get adult women. Now I'm just speaking from experience as my own self as a almost 30 year old woman. So maybe these won't apply to the women who are a little bit younger in their maybe early 20s or late teens or it may not apply exactly to women uh, maybe above 40. But I tried to compile a list of things that I thought were useful that I would want and that I think would be um, something that a person might not exactly buy for themselves, but they would probably want and use. Please excuse the hair, it's been a long day. <laughs> and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So for my Christmas list, I always think of things that I want or things that I sort of need, but are more like luxury needs. For example, I already have a couple umbrellas, but the ones that I have aren't that great. I have this bad boy, which actually pinched me the other day. If you see that little black dot there on my palm at all, um, yeah, he pinched me pretty bad. These are nice to have in your purse as like a, an emergency umbrella, but they're very small and sometimes they don't want to just stay. Like they just kind of keep fumbling and you really got to push it and you might pinch yourself. <laughs> okay. I'm like, see, I can't even get it to stay. So, and yeah, it almost pinched me again. So a really nice umbrella that is sturdy, maybe that has a button pop up, but that's also large, would be very useful, I think, for any modern adult woman. I have a larger generic one, but still the thing about it is you have to push it up. Um, and it's kind of difficult to push up when you are in a car, um, especially when you're trying to get out or into the car with the umbrella and you're kind of like fumbling in between the car and holding the umbrella and trying to get it open or closed. So it would just be a lot easier if you could stick one arm out and push the button and then it would just, you know, voila, <laughs> be protecting you from the rain. Unless you know that the lady in your life loves, you know, really outgoing colors or designs, I would say pick an umbrella that's a neutral. Black is always a classic. Um, they also have really nice grays. I think the clear ones look really stylish and sleek. Maybe a cool striped one, but if she would like a color, then get her a color. I would just say always err on the side of caution when it comes to buying gifts and get something that would be neutral that could go with many outfits. Okay, the second gift that I would ask for my own Christmas list, and it's a cheaper gift, um, and so maybe if you've already got her a big gift but you wanted to get her something else, um, is a pop socket. If you don't know what a pop socket is, they're very useful. There are these very sticky things that you put on the back of your phone so that you can hold it better. Um, and they pop out and then they crush down so that they're not just always, you know, hanging off of your phone. They are so useful because you can tilt your phone and stand it up and watch TV or watch YouTube or watch movies. And it also makes holding the phone a lot easier. So if your lady likes to take lots of selfies, if she's really into Instagram, or she just likes to take pictures of other people and other things, it really helps with stabilizing the phone so that you're not um, just holding it like this. Oftentimes you can drop it if you're holding it like this or if you're taking a selfie and trying to click a button. So if you've got the pop socket, it kind of fits like this, like the pin does, and it just really helps you stabilize your phone. So if she's into taking pictures or watching TV on her phone, I would say get a pop socket. They're usually about $10. Again, they come in all types of designs, but I would say get a neutral. I have a black one. Um, I want either a white one or like an aluminum one for Christmas. Maybe somebody will get that um, from my family. They know what I want. <laughs> and the last great thing about a pop socket is you can then take your phone and you can get a pop socket holder and stick that holder on things. And then you can stick your phone on things. So for example, if you have a pop socket holder on your dashboard and you use Google Maps a lot or GPS a lot from your phone, then you can stick your phone on your dashboard and just have it there instead of having to just like hold it in your lap or something. I actually use a pop socket to film my videos because um, I'm on a budget. I'm a teacher and with student loans. So I actually have a pop socket um, connected to my tripod and the back of my phone. The holder is connected to my tripod. Um, but yeah, so that's how I film my videos is with my phone with a pop socket and a pop socket holder. So maybe if they're aspiring to do YouTube videos just from their phone, maybe that would be a good gift as well. Okay, another great service gift for the modern lady would be an interior car detailing. Now, I don't know what it is about women, but I know that this is a stereotype and it's definitely true for me. But when it comes to my car, my car is the thing that just collects all the stuff. <laughs> 
I know I need to clean it out more regularly, but it's just very low on the list of things to do. I'm not in my car all the time. You know, I drive it for maybe a total of 10 minutes a day. It's not like I'm living in my car, you know, like I am in the apartment or at my mom's house, you know, it's not like a living space. So you're not there all the time. So when you're just in there for a few minutes, you know, you just kind of don't care what it looks like, I guess. I don't know, but it collects books. It collects empty bags. It collects umbrellas. <laughs> it collects a lot of things, but it also collects lots of dirt. Um, and stains, especially when I'm trying to just get groceries or maybe I have a soda and it's spilled everywhere. So an interior car detailing would be nice. Um, just because it's something that I'm not going to go do on my own just because I don't know how to wash an interior of a car. I don't, you know, is that, is it something special you have to do? Who knows? But I think for the modern lady who has maybe trouble like I do with the inside of her car, staying clean, that would be a very nice and thoughtful gift. Okay, the next gift for the modern woman who is an adult like me <laughs> would be a really nice salt and pepper set. Now, maybe, you know, young adults these days, they don't have too much money to spend on the more luxurious things for the home. Um, so perhaps find out what kind of decor or kitchen decor or kitchen color scheme they like or just ask them, you know, hey, do you like this salt and pepper shaker? Let me get it for you for Christmas because it really is nice to have freshly ground pepper when you're cooking. And I have bought a couple um, pepper grinders that were cheap and they broke. So definitely, you know, a nice one that wouldn't break would be nice, especially when I'm in the middle of making a YouTube video that happened over the summer. My pepper grinder broke, so I had to use my mom's. Anyway. So it's really nice just to have that on hand when you really want fresh pepper and it's so nice. And then just having the matching salt um, shaker as well or a uh, salt grinder is nice too. Is the lady in your life a coffee lover? Does she have a French press? Hmm. If she does not, I'd recommend, you know, getting her a French press to see if she likes it. I think it's a really simple way to make coffee. And if she already does have a French press, maybe get her a kettle because I'll tell you what, I have a French press now. I need a kettle. The one that, the cheap one that I had, um, I take it to work for tea and coffee and things. But, um, so in the morning I just put a pot of water on the stove and that just seems really dangerous because then I go take a shower. So it'd be nice to have like a mechanism that automatically turns off when the water is boiling while I'm not in the room. So definitely a kettle or a French press for the hot drink lover in your life. And then lastly, I think this is a really good idea and I'm really hoping that somebody from my family will give this for me, is a dash cam. Guys, people are crazy out there and I don't trust a whole lot of other drivers on the road, especially down south here, I'll tell you what. Mm. So it would be nice to have that little bit of assurance that there's something, you know, recording that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and if there is an accident that there's proof that it wasn't my fault. That's what I'm most worried about, um, especially if I get in an accident, because I do feel like I'm a defensive driver, um, you know, knock on wood, whatever, but I do feel like I try and be as really safe on the road, but you can't always account for other people, so it would be nice if I had a dash cam, and I think, you know, as a modern woman, you know, these are things we got to worry about, so um, they make them, I think, for around 100 bucks, so that might be an option for the lady in your life. Okay, we're coming to the end here, but another good option is just to invite that person out on a date with you. Maybe it's daddy-daughter time, maybe it's husband-wife time, but just tell them, you know, hey, on this date, I want to take you out and let's just have some time together over some good food. I mean, you know, who can say no to that? Also, if you live with them or you're able to get into their closet, I would recommend going in there and looking at the tags and seeing maybe where their clothes are from and maybe what size they wear if you want to buy them something or just get them a gift card for where they have the most clothes from. I know gift cards are kind of impersonal, but sometimes you gotta just, you know, do something last minute, and gift cards are always a good choice. Although I would stay away from like the Visa gift cards because you gotta pay a premium for those for just, you know, using cash. And then finally, nothing says love like food, so you could also get them a subscription to Butcher Box. It's the box from your butcher. Get them a subscription of steak, chicken, and pork, and all that good stuff. If you use my link down below, you will get $40 off. That's $20 off per box plus free bacon. And that bacon is uncured and sugar-free. It's delivered right to your door and it comes in this really cool bag. Have I showed you guys this bag? I mean, it's got insulation. You can take it to the grocery store, put your Arctic Zero in there, your low-carb ice cream, whatever you want. If you want to know what I think about ButcherBox meats, then check out my Cooking with ButcherBox video series. Um, I will link those down below. I did filet mignon, I did chicken, and I did something else. I forget. I'll link them all down below just so you can watch those. 
So don't forget to order from Butcher Box, the box from your butcher that's delivered straight to your door before December 31st. And then that deal goes away. Remember, it's $20 off of two boxes and free, sugar-free, uncured bacon. All right, you guys, uh, those are just my ideas for the modern lady in your life. You know, maybe she's my age, maybe a little bit older, younger, whatever. Maybe they're just mature for their age or young for their age. Who knows? But these are just some practical ideas I thought you might enjoy. But I do want to know because I'm having issues. I got the muscle, his big gift, but I want to know what else do you get a man? Because I have no idea. Like, I got him some stocking stuffers. You saw in my other video, but that was about it. It was like candy and some underwear that he needed. <laughs> So tell me, what do you get a man, or if you're a man, what do you want? Because I have no idea. What would What's like a $20 gift that you would want? Please let me know down below. You would help me out so much. All right, you guys, that's going to be about it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you were enjoying Vlogmas. I'll tell you what, I'm enjoying making just these random videos. It's really fun, and I never get to do this except for around Christmas time. So Merry Christmas to me and to you as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. My name's Allie. Have a good one. Bye.